Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to show you guys what my rear cargo storage looks like in my Toyota 4Runner. Alright, let's take a closer look. So, this uh, WeatherTech mat is just the one that comes with the Toyota 4Runner. You can see it doesn't fit in the back. I just folded it a little bit and it made it work. Uh, let's go ahead and take this out of the way, show you guys what this looks like. So, I did carpet the top. So, I did carpet the top. You can see here, I just cut a square, three quarter inch plywood, and mounted it on three pieces of two by six. There's actually three pieces that run lengthwise or you know deep and then on the back there's one on the back as well so that kind of basically makes the box I made a little wing here so you know you can fit extra cargo you can see i got some straps in here and some i guess just straps um, on this side i got my air compressor and it's a vi air fits in here nicely I had to make these little rails here. This is actually not the two by six. It's a little piece of wood to hold this guy from, you know, making it so it sits flat. You know, same on this side. It had to be a little bit longer. Still have access to your side cargo. You can see there's some some other stuff in here. Um, and it's still nice and flat, so you can still sit in here. You can still, uh, well, my kids like to sit in here when it's cold outside and you can still fit a lot of stuff in here. It actually works a lot better as well because now that it's raised, you know, by six inches or so, um, when you put your tailgate down or your uh, rear window down, you actually can reach stuff easier. Uh, you can ignore that. I'll tell you what that is in another video. Um, so here's the drawers. You can see it fits quite a bit of stuff in it. I'll explain what this is in a second. But I've got, you know, fishing gear, a table for, you know, my bait when I'm fishing, fishing pail, little chairs, two little uh, tripod chairs, my tackle in case I want to just stop and go fishing. So on this side I got camping stuff. I got an axe, which doubles as a hammer. Um, I actually have a rubber mallet in here as well, or a plastic mallet. Some zip ties, you never know when you're going to need those. Cooking pot. Um, I think this is a hammock. <laughs> don't remember, I don't know, I haven't used it yet. Um, some window shades so I can get some privacy. And I'll show you why I need that later. Sleeping mattress, uh, one sing sleeping pad, just in case I want to sleep in my car. And I'll show you a little bit about that in a second. Uh, this is just a floor um, mat in case I want to put it down somewhere and I don't want to get dirty you know one of those tarps um, some carabiner rope you know you never know when you need some rope some more cooking gear and back there is actually a butane burner and you actually have to take some of this out and pull it out I actually opted to get 28 inch slides but it's actually about 40 inches deep so you know the whole burner fits back there these are uh stakes for my awning my arb awning um that i have on the side of my roof and then this is if i want this is this is just a, uh, this, is, this is just a flag um so when i go into dunes i need to have that up so that i can ride around in the dunes so you can see it fits quite a bit of stuff in here and um you know, folds back up. Well, I moved some stuff, so a little bit difficult. Um, you can see the drawers are made out of just some wood I found. And I can measure it for you guys if you guys want to know what that is, just so you guys have it. Here you can see the 2 by 6 There's one in the left side. There's one in the middle right there. And there's one on the right side. So those are all the same length. They go to the back. And then on the back itself, there's one that goes um, against the back. And then I just drilled the, uh, drilled the screws into the plywood on top so that 
it makes the frame. And this thing is super sturdy. I mean, you can get on here and... I mean, these 2x6s are probably overkill. Sorry about all the traffic. I'm not sure why there's so many people driving down this neighborhood. Um, here's that piece of wood I was talking about. Like I said, it's just to uh, hold this thing up or help hold it up. It's doing a good job. Here's that three-quarter ply that I was talking about. I carpeted everything. And the drawer slides. I'll put a link for those if you need to know where to get those. But they're pretty low duty, but they work. I mean, you can see this is pretty sturdy. You can fit quite a bit of stuff in here. So that's uh, pretty much the whole entire cargo. All right, so let me explain to you what this guy is. And you notice that this guy actually fits in here. And I, I did that purposely so that I can store it in here in case I needed to. Hang on a second. All right. And I'll show you what that's for. I actually have two pieces. So one's, one's normally on this side and one's normally on this side. But since I usually only carry the second one if I'm going camping because the second one's required to make, to turn this guy into a sleeping platform. So that's what this is for. So I only keep one and that's, I keep one because of this one's sleeping bag in case I want to use it. Um, you know, the wife kicks me out of the house or something. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So let me show you um, where the other one is. So I have the other one off to the side, like I mentioned, there's two of them. And on the other side, there's little feet and they go up like this. And these are carefully measured um, so that, oh wow, I bent this one. All right, well, that's gonna need to be repaired. You see here, it got bent, so I can't. Hang on a second. All right, so I bent this guy back and basically you push it in and it comes up and it makes a 90 degree angle on both sides. And what it does is it extends this platform. So I'll show you fold the seats down and you actually can lay this down over there to make a platform and I have two of them let me show you both of those let me set them up all right so I went ahead and took all the car seats out of my car um, and I want to show you guys how I'm going to use these um, platforms here to make a sleeping platform so let me go ahead and put them in and show you guys now like I mentioned there's feet on the back these feet are measured so they just sit on top of this. You can see here, it goes on here like that. And the other side is Oops. And I've got a little flat surface. And what I do is, if I'm just sleeping in a sleeping bag, I'll actually sleep with my head on that side and my feet on this side. But this has a tendency to move a little bit. And I'm going to fix that by just like putting in little dowels in here. That way it stays in place. But another thing you can do is if you have both, you can run a inflatable mattress back here. And you know, you can sleep head 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 that way and feet this way. And the mattress will completely cover all this up and you're not gonna need I mean even if you distribute it a little bit, you know, this whole the mattress is not gonna care. So let me show you what that mattress looks like. I'm gonna put it in here. So this is the mattress I got. It's a light speed inflatable mattress. Yeah, just your typical one. You could probably get one at Costco or got this one off Amazon. I measured it to make sure it fits. It fits pretty tight, but it does fit. And, um, and I like that it fits really tight because when you roll it out, let me show you. When you roll it out, in here, Like it doesn't fit, but when you inflate it, it will fit because it'll just kind of push up into all the crevices and, and make itself fit. So let me inflate this and show you guys. Alright, that should be enough. So let me explain to you guys how these little feet work. So on the back of the 2x6 here, you can actually see the 2x6 right there, mates up with the other 2x6. So this piece goes all the way across. I put another piece of, I don't know, timber, wood, whatever you want to call it, across here, countersunk the holes so they don't stick out. And I made this lip a little too small, but that's what this guy rests on. 
and then cut it to fit perfectly with this seat. It's not flush, which is my own mistake. This should be a little bit lower, three quarter inch, or maybe more because the carpet's a little bit thicker. But once you get these two guys in, you put the bed right back on top, and that's how you get your sleeping platform. So you can see it's snug, like I said, but it's actually raised a little bit up there, but I think if you really wanted to sleep that way, you'd probably lower it, but you can sleep this way, feet that way. And yeah, it's pretty nice. Let me show you what it looks like with me in it. So you can get in through the sides or you can just hop in the back. I'm about 5'10", and you can see it fits me just nicely. I mean, my head is not even up at the edge here yet. I have the window up, it would be just fine. My feet don't even hit the back of my passenger seat here. So you can see my feet do not even hit this. And remember that hole that was over here? It still works nice. And this is actually ideal because if you're at, let's say, camping at the beach or something, you'll wake up to the ocean, which is sweet, pretty sweet. Or what you can do is uh, black out all your windows like I did. You actually can't see through this tent. And you can stealth camp in your car. And I'm going to go ahead and take a little short nap. So before I clean everything up, I want to show you guys that you can use this in the one platform configuration as well. So let me show you how that's done. Alright, now that I got one seat cleaned up, I'll show you how you can just use one as well. So remember this sleeping bag that I was talking about earlier? So this can actually go across there and you can use it as a single sleeper. So yeah, I've got a, a single sleeper. So this is pretty convenient as well. This is usually how I use it, because I'm usually up by myself. And actually, uh, when I go when I go fishing, I'll have this guy out and I'll just lay down in here while I wait for the fish to bite. So that's another way you can use this as well. That's one of the reasons why I only carry one with me all the time. Uh, mainly because without the other one, you can store a lot more gear all the way to the top here. So, that's why. All right, so before you guys leave, I want to show you guys the dimensions really quick again, just so you guys are unsure. So this one is the hardest piece to make because of the curvature of the car. And what I recommend you do is once you build the, the square platform, which is really easy, and I'll link or I'll post the, uh, the dimensions of the three quarter inch plywood, as well as the length of this two by six, all three of them are the same, like I mentioned and then the back one, the length of that, and then you just make a square, you put it in here, and then what you do is, to make this guy, put a piece of cardboard in here, and then just cut the cardboard. And then once you get the cardboard the perfect size, take one of those jigsaws and cut out a piece of three-quarter, the same, the same piece that you should be having from this guy. Um, and you can build this guy out. This little tab I just got from the junkyard from another Toyota, I think a RAV4. And then on this side you do the same thing. This is another piece of three, three quarter inch scrap. And um, if you don't want to have drawers, these drawers are optional. As you can see, you can use it without the drawers and just you know jam a bunch of stuff underneath. I made the drawers just because I like to be able to pull it out but you can actually use it without the drawers. If you don't want to spend the time building drawers 
and buying slides, you actually can just build a platform like this and it'll work exactly the same way. You just have a bunch of stuff underneath. It might be unorganized, but hey, you still fit stuff under there. And then what you also can do is, what I've seen some people do is actually, they, could, they build a hatch right here and you can access some of the stuff in the back on both sides. So you can do that as well, same thing. Um, on this side, it fits my air compressor, like I said. And, um, and I'll put some uh, dimensions for these drawers as well for you guys, how I built them. And also how I built this front face. Basically did the same thing, just a piece of cardboard. So I built the drawer, put the drawer in. And you gotta make sure that, see here there's, you know, whatever this is probably half inch. There's a half inch gap here. So, you know, when you cut this, you make sure that there's an extra half inch overhang so that when you close it, it's, you know, pretty much flush. And then on this side, basically there's nothing here, but that's just to cover this hole. And uh, that's pretty much the entire drawer system. So if you guys are interested, let me know if you have any questions. I'll post as much information as I can about how I built this thing, all the dimensions, where I got the hardware, where I got the materials. And you know, you guys can build it yourself. All right guys, I wanted to show you guys how I secured this guy down. So this is a factory mount or factory uh, anchor. And I just got an eye bolt and one of these turnbuckle um, things and just hook it on and twist it until it's tight and that'll keep it down and one of the reasons why you want to keep that from coming up is let's say you're off-roading or you know you get into a car accident you don't want this thing flying around in the car so there's one on both sides on the back since the seats are angled um, you don't need to worry about too much about it because it's not going to go anywhere if you got it buckled down back here on the two sides um, you should be good all right guys thanks for watching and you know share if you uh, feel like somebody can benefit from this you obviously can do this in other vehicles as well but this is my toyota 4runner third generation should fit pretty much all third generation toyota 4runners